Today's thrilling episode is brought to you in part by Jim Socks Odors. Smells like breakfast. Spooky Land.
a frothy hit. Puffy Brit.
gibbering cliff. A gibbering cliff.
Skull Hollow. Skull Hollow.
Fräulein Amber Platz. Fräulein Amber Black.
The Wording Way. The Wording Way. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bound by law.
Parallel Peril. Parallel Peril
vestibule of justice. The Vestibule of Justice.
Congratulations! Sometimes, when the weather conditions are just right, you can see Glorns towering above the Spooky Land sign. He's been there as long as anyone can remember, coming down but once a year to partake in the only holiday celebrated in Spooky Land, Arbor Day. Glorns is what they called him, because that was his name. They could have called him John or Jim, but that would have been lame. A private being, Glorns rarely made an attempt to communicate with his subjects. Indeed, those who had spoken to him could be counted on the hands of the rare two-fingered nematode. The universe was filled with worlds ruled by oppressive dictators, but Spooky Land was different. It was more freer. This is how it had always been, and is how the inhabitants of Spooky Land like it. Names can be deceiving, Spooky Land was a great place. They validated parking and their healthcare plans were ice. But all I fear was not well in Spooky Land. After eons of peaceful living, the world's inhabitants now found themselves in grave danger. The home they loved so dearly had suddenly and viciously become for the birds. Sent by the Timbletot, they arrived in the dead of night, cooling their diabolical threats at anyone who dared look at them. They called themselves the Parliament of Owls, and they informed the inhabitants of Spooky Land that Glorns had surrendered all power to them. All hope, it seemed, was lost until the commanders arrived. The Owls were defeated and forcibly dethroned. They then promptly retreated because they had been owned. The commanders made quick work of the Parliament of Owls, freeing the imprisoned Glorns from his rusty shackles. Grateful to be a free man once again, the corners of Glorn's lips inverted ever so slightly into a smile, so subtle that some would say it wasn't there at all. <laughs> Spooky let's say the show's the day, so now we bid adieu. But first the shop the pepper Parliament of Owls.